So I wanted to film a little bit more of a personal video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my breastfeeding journey, which is kind of like my feeding journey really with my baby because it went from like latching issues to exclusive pumping to breastfeeding. And I kind of wanted to make this video to kind of just share my experience and maybe like validate some things people feel about this like whole feeding your baby like breastfeeding journey and the stuff I experienced and this is a kind of a like closure video for me um my baby is 11 months I feel like next week I have to look at the calendar but I'm pretty sure and for me like I kind of think our breastfeeding our feeding like journey is coming to an end. I'm, I mixed them out it. I feel like sometimes I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to have a little bit more of my life back. And then sometimes I feel like I want to keep going. It's such a bonding experience and all these things, but let's take a little bit of a step back and kind of talk about my breastfeeding journey, my feeding journey and how everything went down. So Obviously, it started when I gave birth, and I had a very um, difficult delivery. I had a very long delivery. I went in on a Friday and gave birth on a Sunday. I pushed for four and a half hours. It's totally a story for another time, but that being said, once I, once I gave birth, I didn't have that golden hour experience. I didn't have that experience where people practice nursing with their baby and they talk about this like sweet moment um, with the mother and the baby and like that first feed and all that kind of stuff because my my delivery was just difficult. And my lovely husband though did get to do that skin to skin for me and I'm so thankful to have him there. And um yeah, so I started immediately having those insecurities that, oh my gosh, we wouldn't breastfeed because we didn't have that golden hour. And there's like a lot of pressure on social media and just women in general that say like, oh, if you don't have this latching hour, like you're going to have trouble. And so then when we ended up finding out that Naomi had pretty severe jaundice that it would cause her to have kind of a like sleepy latch or something they called it. I was like worried. So she didn't, she had a little trouble latching at first. So they would have me like collect my colostrum with like honestly a little spoon and then you would suck it up with like a syringe and we would give it to her. And so we tried and tried and tried. And after two, three days of kind of her still not really latching, they, um, were like oh well maybe you just have short nipples maybe all those things and I thought that was weird because I'm pretty sure I've heard people with like flat nipples could nurse but I don't know they were telling me all sorts of crazy things and like now knowing that sometimes just lactation consultants don't know and they're so focused on pressuring you to latch right away that sometimes things just like take time but Anyway, she ended up suggesting that we do nipple shields and that I pump. And so she was able to latch with the nipple shield and it was hard. Like anybody who's used nipple shields, it's, they're hard. Like they slip off. It's not really an easy experience. I was a new mom, so I wasn't familiar with like, they cry a lot when they're trying to get the food in the beginning. So I felt like I was doing something wrong. I was not hurrying enough. The bottle was so much easier. So um, I went back and forth between we would do a little bit of on the nipple shield, but I would have a bottle and I would pump after. So I was like double feeding with trying to breastfeed and always pumping after. And so um, it was a lot. And I, for about a month, so after her jaundice cleared up, we thought maybe it would be like, she would just latch because it wouldn't be as sleepy. We ended up doing the, um, I don't know what it's called, light therapy, where she had to do like 24 hours in that like tanning booth thing. <laughs> I, that's what I think it looks like at least. And still like 
days after it cleared up, she still had trouble latching with me, only would do it with the nipple shields in the bottle. And then I started getting in my head thinking, is it nipple confusion? People keep talking about that. People say like you wait on pacifiers and binkies. She's literally had a bottle from day one. Like she's never going to latch with me. I'm getting very in my head about it. And after a month of going with nipple shields, bottle pumping, nipple shields, bottle pumping, I just was so burnt out from doing that around the clock because you obviously feed every hour. But so then if I'm feeding her for 30 minutes, then I'm pumping for 15 after I was feeding constantly. And then on top of that, I'm cleaning the pump parts and doing all this. It's, it's a lot of extra work. And so I needed help. So I told my husband, I'm like, I'm just going to go to exclusive pumping. So just to kind of give a little bit of like where we're at. We did the nipple shields, we did pumping, and then at the month mark, I went to like exclusive pumping. And I enjoyed it, but I didn't really know anything different. I um, was so used to just pumping. I was so used to that was the way that I didn't know what it would, was like to breastfeed, so I thought it was great. I was like, oh my gosh, I can pump, I can go out for a little bit. Um, I was doing all these things. And I thought it was great. It was a lot of work though. So I applaud people who exclusively pump because it is so much work. The bagging, the pumping, the also feeding your baby with the bottle if you don't have help. Um, it is so much work. I was exhausted from it. And I was always a little jealous of my friends that could just like breastfeed from the beginning. But I told myself, like, I have different benefits. Like, I can go out. I can do all these things. Like, I can go to the nail salon and come home. I don't, I, I'll, and I just thought, like, this, this is, this is how it will be. And I always had this, like, goal to give my baby um, breast milk for a year. So I had put all this, like, pressure on myself that, like, I just have to make it work. And, um it was tough. And so I want to say for like the four, first four or five months of her life, I for, did the first months with the nipple shields and pumping. Then from one month to let's say four months or five months, I can't really remember. I exclusively pumped. And there were days that I wanted to just pull my hair out. I'm going to take a second and like the sun is not good here. I'm going to back the car up a tiny bit. Much better. I just like rant better in the car for some reason. So that's why we're in here. Um, but anyway, so after pumping for four months, I was desperate to figure out something because I was so done with it. I would want to pull my hair out. I would get hysterical. It was so much work. It was so much work to be making the bottle, feeding the baby and pumping at the same time, watching her. And I was just overwhelmed with the feeding. And I had like read all this stuff about how breast milk is, this is not to shame people too that use formula and stuff like that. A fed baby is the best baby. I just had put all these pressures on myself that like I wanted it to be breast milk. And so I had read all this stuff about the benefits of them having breast milk for a year. And so I had, I was having meltdowns all the time. Me like, I can't believe I'm going to do this for a year. I'm going to be so unhappy. It was affecting my sanity, all this stuff. And so I started researching online, like how to teach your baby to breastfeed at four or five months. And I was not super hopeful, but I like wanted to be positive about the whole thing. I wanted to make it happen because she had never latched on me without assistance. She had never latched on me without the nipple shield. She had never just, it never had been just me and her. And so I was like, I'm going to embark on teaching my daughter to breastfeed at four or five months when she's been ex exclusively essentially using the bottle or a nipple shield. There's always been a plastic barrier and so many people told me it's not possible. Nipple confusion, she's never done it. The bottle's way easier. Why would she want to breastfeed from you? And I was really nervous 
but I read all this stuff online about how if you try and have the baby latch um, when they're in a good mood and not like a forced feeding, there's potential. So like in times that she was happy and stuff, I kind of let her like be a little curious. You could put breast milk on the nipple and she kind of like would slowly start to gain interest. And sometimes I would even get it started for her. So like hand express to then like try and make her realize like this is what's happening. Or sometimes I would start with the nipple shield and I would remove it. And then she would kind of realize like, oh, this is the same thing. And honestly, I'm, I can't remember how long, but I'm going to say anywhere from a week to two weeks of doing that every day, like random times, she was able to breastfeed. And I was like, I was ecstatic. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I never thought this would be a thing for us. I was, it makes me like emotional thinking about it, but I was so happy. Like, I was like, I never thought this was going to be a thing from us. I mean, literally from the first hour, there were things in our way for us to be able to have this experience together. And I just like want people to know that sometimes things take time. Sometimes they're just not strong enough in the beginning. And sometimes lactation consultants don't know what they're talking about or they're just pressuring you or they're so worried that the baby isn't going to get food that they make you do things that aren't right. I honestly, after they gave me the nipple shield, I barely, I almost never tried without it. I was convinced that like, oh, she would only feed this way. I didn't even attempt it. Um, and then I went to exclusive pumping and then I never attempted it. So like they had put this false narrative in my mind that we would just never breastfeed. And I met with so many consultants, like four or five all the time, especially in the early days. And it was the same just thing. Like you're just going to have to use a nipple shield or you're going to have to exclusively pump. And I didn't like that answer, but that's what I did. And when at five months she started breastfeeding for the first time. I couldn't believe it. And once that happened, I, it was hard because so many people had been used to me like bottle feeding her or whatever that like, I think it was hard for people to shift like family members and things to realize like, oh no, I'm, I'm exclusively breastfeeding now. I'm not bottle feeding and exclusively Sorry, I'm not bottle feeding and breastfeeding. I'm exclusively breastfeeding. I wanted this from the beginning and I know I have a freezer stash of milk, but this is this is what I'm doing. I want this experience. I want to be I want this experience. And um it was tough at first and I felt like after a while people finally started to understand, especially too cuz I had posted a video on my Instagram of like I think it was my 3 a.m like nighttime routine with night my newborn and in that I I pumped and it really threw people but after the five month mark I never pumped again and I'm at 11 months and I'm so proud of me and her and this journey that we've gone on and that I have now breastfed longer than I ever pumped that I ever used the nipple shield and I am just amazed that it could happen because so many people along the way told me it would never happen. The internet, lactation consultants, and I'm just so happy that I was able to have my experience. And this video is not to shame people that it never works out for. I just want this video to be inspiration, I guess, that it can happen if it's never happened because that happened to me and it takes a lot of patience and it's hard and when the baby is crying and it's not latching it hurts your soul I know it but if you can be patient it potentially can work out and my daughter didn't have tongue ties or lip ties or things like that and that I completely understand is a whole other thing just the sleepy um, jaundice latch in the beginning and then whatever reason she didn't want to latch maybe the golden hour I have no clue but um it's just crazy motherhood and feeding and everything and 
I'm so thankful that we were able to have that experience because I, it is such a bonding experience. The way she calls for me, and I don't know if this is associated with the breastfeeding. I just saw like a change when I went from the bottling to this, like I feel so much like her person and that's what makes this so hard because I can tell that if I'm kind of ready to stop that like she's associated it, me with comfort and doing that with comfort and going to bed without breastfeeding I wonder if it's going to be hard for her and so I don't know if I'm stopping I like to think I'm stopping at the year mark but I could change but I really wanted to film this um, unscripted just ramble of my breastfeeding journey because I I just wanted to say that like you can do it you can do it and if you can't do it it's okay and it no exclusively pumping is hard and I feel you about it and if you have to go to formula do it. If you have to supplement because you're not making enough milk, do it. The feeding journey is hard and no one can tell you how hard breastfeeding, feeding your baby is. And know that if you're struggling, I see you, I hear you, and you're doing great. I hope maybe this gave a little bit of um, hope to some people or you just found my breastfeeding journey interesting. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.